My name is Ryan Kish, and um, I fully support the United States federal government subsidizing agriculture. My name is Kelton Pemp, and I stand in firm negation of the modern system of agricultural subsidies. For a government to subsidize agriculture, it means that it's paying uh, corporations and organizations such as Monsanto to perfect farming techniques, to increase uh, agricultural production rates, and to develop new systems of agriculture. Well, according to Brian Riedel of the National Heritage Foundation, about 60% of the subsidies that we give out go to corporate farms, which can be worth as much as up to $2 million each. The other 40 go out to family farms, and while lobbyists claim that these subsidies are to keep farmers and the agriculture industry in general alive, and the food chain within American society alive and well, they don't. Instead, they're put almost straight into the pockets of these corporate farms. We can see some of the impacts of subsidizing agriculture in uh, how we handle food security throughout the world. Um, the more we increase uh, subsidies for agriculture, the more food we can produce, and therefore the more food we can give to people of nations that have uh, food shortages, such as uh, Uganda or um, Ethiopia. In general, I feel that it's a gross oversight in domestic policy by the United States government, which promotes commercial farms without helping the little guy. So let's look at uh, Ethiopia, for instance. Um, Ethiopia is currently facing a problem where a lot of their potential farmland is undergoing a process called desertification, which means that, it's ba that their farmland is basically turning into a desert. It's becoming unstable. You cannot grow crops there, which is why uh, there are, there's less and less food coming in. And when there's less food being produced within a country, it means that people have to spend more money on getting food from outside sources. And when they spend more money from on outside sources, it means they have less money to spend on uh, the country's own goods, which leads to economic crisis, which leads to more food shortages. I do believe it's important to support our farmers. However, one of the easiest ways to do this is to stop allowing these subsidies to go to corporate farms, privately, or in this case, publicly owned sectors, uh, uh, of food production. Instead, keep these subsidies for farms who need them. Well, I can certainly see why people will want to uh, subsidize small-time farmers. Ultimately, you would have a bigger impact with the subsidies we provide for companies such as Monsanto, companies that can provide larger benefits for a larger area.